Good morning. Morning. Tixie, good morning. Say good morning. Crazy dog. Last night I had the same thing that I had the night before and a little bit the night before. But they're definitely not Braxton Hicks. They start from like my stomach, from my belly, and then they like kind of like spread to the back and they get closer together and a little bit more intense each time. And then, but then after like a few hours, like at the point when I was gonna like call the doctor, they go away. So I didn't know what was up with that. So I stayed up a little bit and did some research. And I think that it, what we're having or what I'm having is hydromal labor, which is basically like real labor, but it like stops and starts. And it's not really real labor, but it's not Braxton Hicks. So I think that that's what's going on, but I called my doctor this morning and she called me back and they wanted me in for an NST, but I told them that I was still feeling like a lot of movement and that I wasn't really leaking or anything like that. So she was like, well, let me get in touch with the doctor again and let me just talk to her and see if she still thinks you need to come in for an NST and I haven't gotten a call back from her. So we might be going in for an NST today but I'm not sure. NST. Which is a non-stress test, which I don't really know exactly what all they'll do, but that might be what we're doing today. Good but day I am, for it. Not much to do. It's kind of a cold, rainy day. Weekend, actually. Do you want something? But that is what we're dealing with. Hopefully uh. we get a call back soon and we'll know if we have to go in. But I'm definitely experiencing pedromal labor. At least that's what I think. It's not really something that you can like test for or like confirm because I can't go in in the, I mean I could go in in the middle of the night but there's not really any point because it's not real labor. So I definitely think that I'm having it though. But we'll see what she has to say about it. Um, patiently awaiting her call back. Until we do hear from her, we're just going to relax this morning. Brandon's making himself breakfast. I've been up for quite a long time. <laughs> Me and Tex. Hi buddy, come here. Come here. What is with you and that thing this morning? What is with it? And the pumpkin patch officially opens today. So maybe I can convince Brandon to go to the pumpkin patch. To well, take like some born, pictures. We're gonna take her to the pumpkin patch. I know. I'm gonna go to the pumpkin patch again, hopefully with McKinley. But I want to go like and take pictures of my bump with all the pumpkins, cause it's like a pumpkin. We'll see how much it's raining. I don't really want to go stand in the rain. I don't even know if they're officially open. They said like around the time that fall starts, so it's the first day of fall. So I gotta go, right? <laughs> want some egg yolk? You love eggs. <laughs> <laughs> you got a chunk on your nose, buddy. Mmm. <laughs> He's so weird. His eyeballs. I know. I've they like pop out of his eyes. I've never seen a dog that does that so much. <laughs> like when he eats some stuff, it's like. Text. Was that good? Was that good? So I got a call back from my doctor and she says that we do not have to come in for an NST right now because I'm not having my, those contractions right now. I'm just having my regular Braxton Hicks. And because the baby is moving around a lot, McKinley is moving around a lot. So she's not too concerned about it, but that if I have that again tonight and it lasts longer than two hours to go in tonight. So if it happens again tonight, we'll have to go in and call the on-call doctor and figure something out. But for now, we are staying out of there. We're staying out of the hospital, which is a good thing. That's a relief. So we are going to, we were going to go to the pumpkin patch, but Tex hasn't been to do something in a while. So we're going to oh, take him up in the mountains. Running. And, we're going to go run the mountains. Yeah. Tex, you want to go in the mountains? You want to go in the mountains? He's like, I don't know that one, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go? Tex, are you ready to go? You want to go to the mountains? Tex, you want to cruise? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <God. laughs> 
Are you ready to go? Let's go. <laughs> okay, let's go for real. You crazy kid. Okay, buddy. Let's go. You gotta load up. Come on, load up. Oh yeah, good boy. Good boy. I think it's fall. Yeah, we might even hit some snow if we keep going up. That'd be cool. It's like a fall wonderland. Yeah, it's pretty. Tex, what are you doing? You running? Oh, you're so happy. You having so much fun? It's so pretty out here. It's definitely fall. It's the first day of fall, buddy. It's the first day of fall. Look at that. This is just crazy. It's so pretty. I love fall. Tex, come here. Tex, come here. <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> he doesn't even know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> He's so wet. <laughs> What are you doing? Where's Poochie? <laughs> <laughs> you scratching? Get some mud on his face now. Go run through the grass and wash off your face. We got some good pictures. It stopped raining a little bit. Settled down a little bit. Yeah, it's not raining too bad now. Yeah. We're and go see if those other trees are up there. Yeah, we want to go see if there's these trees that we saw last year. They're really pretty, We're but drive. I know. You gotta get the dog though. He's very, he's having a really good time. <laughs> this is like his, his dream. We haven't done a lot in a while, so he's loving it. We found them. The pink trees. Tex, what you got there? He's like, just a toy. <laughs> <laughs> just a little stick. I'm gonna bring it home, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you are so weird. Come on, let's go. It's time to go. We gotta go home. We gotta go home. We're on our way home. Ex is freaking out. He's like, I'm guys. He's like, I'm not ready to go home. But uh, I think that we're just gonna relax a little bit tonight for the rest of the day. And I really want to chop off my hair. I really want to get it a little bit more cut. So it's just a little bit healthier for when we go into labor. So we'll see if we can get that done. Okay, we're gonna cut my hair. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I just all of a sudden was like, I need to cut it. I think I want a lot off. I think I want like that much. Are you sure? Yes. Maybe even shorter, maybe like right there. I wouldn't do that. You can always go shorter. We'll start with like right there. I'm actually really excited. So we'll see how this works out. Hopefully I don't have to go to salon after this, Brandon. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. I trust him. He's done good in the past, so.
did it. I love it. I love how it feels. It feels just so much more healthy. I'm I sure all it. you hairstylists out there were cringing when I did that. <laughs> I was kind of cringing. I was kind of worried there for a second, but it turned out good. The layers is what was tripping me out because like you'd put your hair, you'd put your head back and like two more layers would poke out. <laughs> but I love it. I just wanted it a straight across. I just wanted it shorter. And I think that it looks good and I'm so happy with it. And I have short mom hair now. <laughs> I have mom hair, but I am in love with it. I'm really glad that I finally did it. And it's so much healthier when you cut your hair. Oh, I just want to touch it. <laughs> so we have just been relaxing and we're making some dinner. And we're just going to relax and watch some Grey's Anatomy for the rest of the night. Oh, that sounds nice. Mm hmm The season premiere. I'm going to relax on my weekend night. I love relaxing on my weekends. Yeah. And we actually have some exciting news. I'm not really going to be pregnant for that much longer. But I do have a pregnancy buddy officially and my cousin is actually pregnant and I wanted to kind of wait to tell you guys until she had her scan, her ultrasound, but she did and she's actually having twins, <laughs> which is crazy and we are so happy for her and so excited for her. But yeah, I have a pregnancy buddy for like however much longer I have <laughs> and it's not like I'm going to get to see her because she lives in another state, but. Congratulations. And yeah, we're just gonna see what happens tonight. So I guess maybe tomorrow there will be a birth vlog. Maybe not, maybe it'll be in two weeks. But we will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Take say good night. Okay, that was that was good. That was good. <laughs> You're tired, I know. <laughs>